Your time starts now. Oh, okay, thank you. Hello, Ms. Joseph. Hello. My name is Melin Jacob and I'm a nurse in the community. All right. Um, now, the purpose of my visit is to discuss about your husband's condition. Okay. Your doctor would have told you about my visit? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I also know that he has been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Yes. Uh, so, to begin with, can you tell me a bit about how we have been coping with the situation? Yes, uh, well, it's been very difficult for us of late. Mm. He's been finding it very difficult with his daily task even. I see. So it's getting harder nowadays. Can you tell me a bit more about it? Yeah, um, he has uh, memory loss mm -hmm. and uh, also he takes a lot of time to do his daily routine, which is very upsetting. Oh, I can imagine that it must be very hard on yes. you these days. Mm. Yes. Uh, now, talking about the uh, condition itself, All right. uh, you know that uh, the diagnosis is uh, Alzheimer's? Yes. Um, what do you know about it? Uh, very little. Mm -hmm. I just know that it is Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. The neurologist had explained mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. uh, briefly. Yes. But I have a few more questions regarding that. Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, lifestyle factors mm. could have triggered this disease? Um, lifestyle factors could be one of the reasons that could bring it on in okay. some people. But uh, I'm not in a position at this point of time okay. uh, where I could definitely tell you that uh, that was the reason for your husband's uh, diagnosis. Okay. Okay. Um, because it's it will be uh, for the neurologist to tell you that perhaps uh, it might require further investigations as oh. well. Okay, mm. All right. Now the reason I asked mm -hmm. was because we used to uh, drink wine mm -hmm. often mm -hmm. and we followed a very unhealthy diet okay. because we had we lived a very busy life. I see. Yeah. Now uh, what I would focus on would be. Uh, some of the things which uh, you can uh, look into to manage it better. Okay. Um, and I don't think it would be very helpful to go back and analyze okay. your lifestyle in the past, okay. uh, which wouldn't be of much help uh, anyway. Okay. Um, so I'd like to know some of the uh, changes you have been experiencing of late. <coughs> sure thing is, uh, he was a very cheerful person, mm -hmm. but of late he has mood swings. He forgets things and he wanders off on his own. He's in his own world most of the time. Right. Um, any other changes? Yeah, he finds it difficult, uh, especially when handling money and paying his bills. Basically, his daily routine is a humongous task for him. Mm -hmm. So what you're telling me is that uh, from a very um, active and cheerful lifestyle, yes. uh, it has become one yes. in which he finds it difficult to manage uh, his own affairs yes. and um, the uh, memory is compromised as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. I'd like to move on to the management strategies that I mentioned a while ago. Would okay. that be fine? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. The thing is that Alzheimer's is a slow progressing condition. Oh, okay. Now, what that means is that it will not worsen overnight okay. in a short period of time. The strategies that I'm going to discuss will help in slowing the progression. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. The first thing, as uh, we discussed a while ago, would be diet. Okay. Uh, from now on, I would suggest uh, that you try to follow a healthier diet. Would oh. that be fine? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Primarily, uh, I would request you to follow a low fat diet okay something uh, less in uh, you know alcoholic beverages okay uh, which might not be good at this point of time okay um, and uh, focus more on uh, fiber rich food more of vegetables and fruit in your diet all right mm -hmm. yes. yes great another thing is maintaining an active lifestyle okay so this includes exercises which will help in cognition and physical health oh, that would be great um, so i'll show some of these exercises oh, that would be nice. and you can teach your husband how to sure. do that properly sure mm -hmm. now uh, finally uh, the doctor did tell me that you are under a bit of stress yes and mm -hmm. over stressed mm -hmm. in fact um, so I'd suggest uh, getting enrolled with a respite center. 
Have you heard of it before? I've heard of it, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, so these centers are run by trained health professionals oh, okay. who will uh, take care of your husband for a couple of hours in the day. Oh, that would be great. Mm. Yes. And that will give you a lot of time to take exactly. care of your own health and yes. uh, go about your household chores. Yes. Mm -hmm. that would you like uh, to take it up? Of course, yes. Excellent. Any other questions? Um, do you think this condition is going to worsen rapidly? Uh, no, not mm. really. No. Okay. As I told earlier, uh, if you follow these strategies, it would help in uh, slowing it down. Okay. Great. Thank you.